the affirmative repositioning movement, the Landless People's Movement and the Republican Party of Namibia submitted their list before the 11 o'clock deadline this morning. We have 21 political parties that have commenced with the online submissions of the candidates, of which 18 has completed the process and three still pending. Or let me rather say they are still busy with the process. Remember, I have said we have time until 11 o'clock. ECN chairperson ELC Nikembwa urged party leaders to encourage their supporters to avoid resorting to the use of political violence. Lately and sadly, we have observed worrying acts of violence and hate speech during political campaigns in some parts of the country. This has the potential to negatively affect electoral democracy that we have embraced over the years as a peace-loving nation. Therefore, I urge political parties to encourage their supporters to avoid resorting to the use of political violence. Independent Patriots for Change presidential candidate Dr. Panduleni Itula gave some inputs on the public sitting. The proceedings have gone in accordance with the prescription by the law. And we've got a very complex electoral act, which is very clear and read very carefully in conjunction with the provisions of the Namibian constitution, specifically Article 1.3, Article 17, Article 28.3 and 28.4 as well. Unfortunately, these sections, when they are read, you will be able to understand that there is a separation of power from the onset. Unfortunately, it's up to the Electoral Commission of Namibia to determine whether that someone could be registered as a presidential candidate and at the same time as a National Assembly legislator. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.